Hello and welcome to the stream. My name is Timaz. This is the Construction Zone. And uh, happy Monday. I hope your day is going well. I hope you're doing well. Um, it is a uh, lovely Monday evening here in the Midwestern United States in St. Louis, Missouri. Right in the heartland of the country. Um... Sorry, we're getting a little bit of a late start. It is a, we're almost a half hour late. Uh, there were a bunch of updates that have happened since the last time I streamed. And I thought I had checked everything out, but uh, OBS is just fighting me tooth and nail. Uh, it is acting really wonky. I don't know what this integration is that they did with stream elements, but uh, my, uh, my setup is very unhappy. Like it was doubling up audio and then some stuff was working and st some stuff wasn't. Um, yeah, like my desktop audio right now, the music wasn't playing the way it's supposed to after the uh, after it, it does the intro. Um, yeah, yet again, OBS has completely screwed up and radically changed things without, without saving any of the settings that were originally in the app. Uh, if I was to have a complaint about OBS, that is my A number one complaint is the every single time there is an update, it fouls up the settings just every single time without fail. Uh, there is a problem with the settings. And uh, no matter how much testing I seem to do, I still end up, I seem to miss something that uh, has been changed or adjusted or no longer works the way it used to. But anyway, uh, outside of that, um, yeah, we are gonna go ahead and, uh, as you can see on the broken big screen here behind me, uh, we are gonna be jumping back into Sable as the name of the stream shows. Uh, this is part eight of our first playthrough. Uh, this is the very first time we have played the game. Uh, we are, we. I'm talking, I'm almost talking about myself in the third person, but at the same time, first person? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm having a blast playing this game. Uh, it is beautiful. It's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, and so I'm, I'm really having a good time playing this game. So let's go ahead and we will head over to the workshop and hopefully that button works and hasn't broken since the last time I pressed it, let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. Uh, you can actually see me. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, but as far as Sable is concerned, um, yeah, just an absolutely beautiful game and um, really, really loving it. Uh, did have something odd happen um, at the end of the last stream. Uh, if, uh, for those of you who saw, uh, we were at the whale, we had started, um, we actually, the stream ran rather long because I kept wanting to investigate more of the whale, uh, which is a very large ship that we found. Um, and as we went through it and stuff, I got to a point where I felt like we were at a good stopping point. And so I ended the stream, I shut everything down, but the game was still running. Um, now, my understanding was that the game had an autosave, that it was just, as you played, it just kept saving randomly along the way. Um, and so I, I wasn't one to, like, stop in the middle of the game and constantly keep hitting save or anything like that. Um, and so, yeah, so I shut the stream down whatnot. I went out, I got myself a cup of coffee from the kitchen. I used the restroom. I came back into the studio here and the game, uh, because this is through the Xbox Live Cloud Pass, uh, the game did the, are you still playing? Um, and when I wasn't here to press the yes, can stay connected button, it shut down the game. Well, when it shut down the game, it didn't save before it shut down the game. And so I lost over an hour of gameplay uh, and so I was rather upset. I, I sent them a Twitter message. I'm like, Hey guys, look, I can totally understand why you have the, are you still there? Stay connected or disconnect thing. I get that. 
But if you're going to do that, you have to auto save the game before you shut down. You can't do that to people because all I did was went to get a cup of coffee and I came back and my game was off and I lost an hour of gameplay. So I was I was rather upset about it. Um, and I really hope that that's ex something that uh, the Xbox team fixes uh, ASAP. That is a really important thing that they need to cover. Um, but yeah, so what I ended up having to do was I watched the VOD to figure out what I had done between when it had saved and when, when, where it left me off. And so I went back through the game and re redid all of the missing pieces. Um, and so I have caught us back up to where we left off on the last stream. So with that being said, let's go ahead and we will swap over our audio to the game. And let's jump back into the world of Sable. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see, I'm double checking some things. It looks like closed captioning is working properly. Uh, it looks like the notifications are working. Uh, it looks like audio and visual are working. Um, is my pretzel notification popping up? Uh, let's see. Gonna wait here for just a bit. It should show up in the top right hand corner. Waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. <laughs> a watched pot never boils. <laughs> well, it should show up in the top right hand corner. Uh, if it doesn't, I've messed something else up or there's a setting that got broken or we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, let me swap over to the controller. And we will get everything set up for uh, playing the game here. There we go. All right, still not seeing the notification popping up. That concerns me. Yeah, it should be in the upper right hand corner. The pretzel logo should pop out and like f kind of fizzle a little bit and then go back in. Uh, I do have it turned on, don't I? Yeah, it's turned on. It's there. It's supposed to. Huh, okay, well, I'll just keep an eye on it as we're playing. Um, okay, it seems loud again. Take it down to 30. There we go. Okay. Um, so as you can see on the screen, I am standing here. Uh, I am still wearing my whale costume because we were inside the whale. Uh, you can see my glider there, which has the new paint job on it, um, which we might change. Um, but this, we are standing outside the whale. This is the giant ship. Uh, we have scanned the ship top to bottom. Uh, we went around the outside, we made sure that we had found all the, um, um, all the chum eggs and everything, and I walked up to the sign to see what was, what was what around us, basically. Um, so yeah, so, uh, if we look at the sign here, nope, that was junk. There we go. Uh, if we look at the sign... Uh, we are facing north. So Akria is north of us. That's the city uh, where we were trying to find out who had stolen things, etc. Um, to the northeast, uh, which is eh, that way, uh, that is the Balfron connection. That is the other ship that we have already searched and discovered all the bits and pieces in there. Um, to the east, which is this direction, 
we are finally seeing a sign for the Bridge of the Betrayed. Uh, we have had a quest for Bridge of the Betrayed pretty much since we started playing. Um, and now we can actually uh, go. If, in fact, if I turn a little further... Yeah, if I turn a little bit further off to the upper right-hand side of the screen, you can actually see the broken bridge out there. Um, so yeah, that is Bridge of the Betrayed, which is behind us to the east a little bit. Uh, and then to the south, which is basically, if we rotate 180 degrees, directly south of us is the Seven Sisters Station. So I was thinking of hitting Seven Sisters Station first, and then going to the bridge. Um, if we look at our map here. Uh, hello? If we look at our map. Why isn't my map working? That's working. Why isn't my map key working? Oh, because I was in... Sorry. I was in the... I was looking at the, um... The sign, and so none of my other buttons were working. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Um, since we are outside the whale ship now, I think we're going to go ahead and change back into our other gear. Uh, we now have a cartographer's mask. Uh, we still have our childhood mask. We have the whale ship mask. But, oh, and of course we have the shade of Acrea mask, uh, which we earned by uh, getting one of the locals to trust us to uh, act as the shade of Acrea. Um, but we are going to switch back to our Abexi mask. Um, that, as we are an Abexi tribe member. Um, we are going to change out of the whale clothing. Uh, we do have a beetle station top, a biker top, an Abexi child's clothing top, a bouldering top, and a Kreen top for uh, people who live in Akria. There is the machinist top for machinists. The Akreen Guard Top, which we found uh, hidden in a bunker kind of place. Uh, the Abexi Glider Top, which is what we wear on our day to day. But we also have a Monumental Stone Top, a Shade Top, which goes with the mask for the Shade of Akria, and we have the Sand Surfer Top as well. Uh, we will come down to the pants. We have some Atomic Priesthood Trousers. Uh, we have the whale ship trousers, which we're currently wearing, uh, beetle station trousers, biker trousers, abexi trousers, which we're going to change into, the acreen trousers, the acreen guard trousers, the abexi glider trousers. Ooh. Do we wear those? No, we're on our glider, so we're going to wear those. Then we have our shade trousers and the sand surfer shorts. Um, so we are back in our proper attire for being out and about as a glider. Uh, this is our inventory. Um, we currently have quite a bit of stuff. We don't have enough eggs to go back yet and visit the queen. Um, but we have a steady collection of quite a bit of other things. Uh, we also have a lot of paint to paint our bike. Uh, we may choose a different color scheme here pretty soon just to kind of jazz things up a little bit because uh, it doesn't really have any effect on the bike to paint it different colors um, uh, next we have our quests um, we will once we go to seven sisters um, we will end up going to a view from a bridge so we can finish this one for Elizabeth um, we have the ancient race that is open uh, the Queen, uh, the Gliding, which is just, oh, I, that's right. It said we needed to check into a post box and see if Jadi had written to us. So when we go to Seven Sisters, we'll check and see the postal box there. Uh, historical Reconnection, we have to look for more spaceships. Uh, Nazis Nizzles, <laughs> Nazis Nibbles. Uh, we need to find glowworms, and we don't even know where they are. 
we have to ask at seven sisters how to even find them because we don't even know where they are or how to catch them um riding the wave we're going to have to come back to that because we weren't able to do it we didn't have what we needed the last time we were there um searching for lahore uh this is another thing we're going to ask when we go to seven sisters we're going to ask about lahore uh treasure scrapers uh that you know that's just ongoing uh, and that's all of that so next we'll look at the map here we are next to the spaceship uh, we are facing due north we are actually going to turn 180 degrees and you can see the white down uh, can you actually see it uh, it's behind the uh it's behind the closed captioning. If I stop talking for a second, it'll disappear. There it is. Okay, you can see the you can see the white um, symbol down there for where we're going to be headed, basically due south from where we are right now. Um. The one thing I noticed, let me go back to this. Okay, we didn't go through all of this. Um, I don't, oh, back. There we go. So these are the key items that we have. Um, we can go through these. We have our glider stone. We have our compass. We have our navigator. Um, which I, I have, I think I've used like once or twice. Um, then these maps all fit together to show us the entire of the entirety of the area. Uh, we have four tiers from the queen. Um, these are the, these are the quest items we have. Uh, we, we have the Hykaric Hi ring artifacts. We have three of them. I believe we need four at least to make whatever happen happen. I don't know. Um, this was the atomic heart key card to get into the atomic heart. Uh, we still have a larva husk that we just kind of held on to. Um, I found it interesting with this oasis flower uh, that we're holding on to one of those. I'm not sure why we got to keep one of those. Uh, scrap metal, of course, those are things we're going to take back to finish that quest. Or not to finish it, I think it's just ongoing. We just keep taking him more and more scrap metal. Uh, we continue to hold on to the empty socket from the uh, atomic core. We have the large feathers, which were a clue for who stole the atomic heart. Uh, the smashed glass from the atomic heart. Um... We currently suspect that Climber Garay is involved in the theft. Um, Machinist Hamza is a suspect because apparently he may have been roped into it because he owes people money. Um, uh, Merchant Iria is a suspect only in the fact that she could have done it to manipulate the amount of money that people were paying the merchants in town. So she she plausibly could have done it as a way to make more money. Um, and then we have the magpie key from the magpie mine or the well or whatever it was called when we saved uh, the the climber that had fallen down into the well. That was like an accidental quest we found last time. Um, bike parts. We have a beetle bike, the all three pieces to make a beetle bike. Uh, we have the three pieces to make our glider. Uh, and we have all three pieces to make the shades bike as well. From the appearance here, I assume that we can only have one bike built at a time. Um, because we don't have anywhere to store them or to hide them. So whenever we go to a machinist, we could swap out and build a, a separate bike. Um, or we could mix and match and make something different. I think it would be kind of fun to build this beetle bike 
because as you fly, the front legs of the beetle kind of like wiggle. That's really cool. Um, and I'm actually just out of curiosity, I just wonder what the shade bike is like. Um, these are the badges we have. Um, we have one beetle badge. We have three cartographer's badges, which is why we got the cartographer's mask. Um, we only have one climbing badge. We have one, two entertainer badges. Uh, we have two machinist badges. We have one merchant's badge and we have one scrapper's badge. And then the clothing we already went through. So yeah. Okay. So now that we did all of that, let's go ahead and we are going to turn ourselves around. And let's look again at our map because we should now. What does it say we're facing the opposite direction? Oh, because our character is facing the opposite direction. Duh. <laughs> the camera wasn't, but our character was. All right, let's hop on our speeder. On our, our, uh, our bike here. And we will head south. You gotta be careful with these dunes because they're kind of sharp peaks and valleys, and it bangs up our uh, bangs up our glider. So seven sisters should be down here. Bump over the edge there. Okay, we are kind of traversing out into unknown territory at this point. You can see the sand color change. This is a territory that we do not have mapped. If you look at our map... Oh, no, we're still in our territory. Okay, it's a little bit further. Um... But yeah, once we get down here, we're going to be in uncharted waters, so... If we see a cartographer's balloon, we will actually veer over to it and... Uh, and go ahead and connect with them so that we can fill out the map. Okay, I see smoke up ahead. Taking our surroundings here, are we not seeing any butterflies? And not see anything over that way. Everything over there looks okay. I'm seeing lots of smoke up here. As we kind of slide down the hill here, just need to keep our eyes open around us. Make sure we're not missing anything important. Okay, I'm seeing a bunch of... Some of the smoke is up on top of that mountainside there. Interesting. Okay, how close are we to the edge? All right, we are coming up on the, the transition between the two areas. I'm still looking around to see if we see any... I don't see any butterflies. Okay. 
things just got awfully interesting. This is a crater of some kind. Oh, is this another ship impact? doesn't look good. Alright, let's hop off our bike for a second. This doesn't look good. Wow. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be a way in. Um, yeah, there doesn't appear to be a way inside any of this, the remaining pieces that are sticking out. Try this. Now, let's go over and look at this. Is this just a steam vent, or is this... Okay, so it's not lifting me up, so it's not... It's not steam. Um... Okay, hold on. So if I turn my body this way, so the settlement is supposed to be right here. Okay. A bunch of shiny, glittery... Are those buildings? Are they... What in the world is that? Uh, let's call our bike. Hey, glider. Come here. Glider. Come on. Okay, there's a there's a street sign out here. Okay, there's another vent. Um kind of taking the whole scene in here. Very interesting. Okay. So are we gonna get hurt if we How far down is that? Okay, that seems like a fairly gentle incline. The sparkly things are interesting. Okay, there's another street sign over there. Uh, turn, I don't want to fall all the way down yet. Okay. 
Okay, over there we've got... No, no, no. Just keep the camera where I'm looking. Okay. Uh... Those... Those rocks in the sky are move, moving? What? Wh hold on. Up here. Is the bike going to sit still if I get off it? Yeah, it looks like it's not going to move anymore. Okay. What what's going on here? What is this? What's happening here? There's these stones that are just hovering in midair. get up on top of this to get an over right, my bike should be fine there and I get up on top of this thing don't think I'm going to make it to there. But I can stand here. And let's climb at an angle. Little by little, we're finding footholds that are higher and higher up. fall almost all the way back down I can't tell the curvature makes it look like it's much closer. But it's impossible to tell how close we actually are getting to the lip. Yeah, it's impossible to tell. Uh, let's 
see. Let's look at our map. Let's. Okay. So we got here. Aha. Knew there must be a way up here. Interesting plant. Okay, now we are at the very top up here. Oh, and there are some of these. Oh, and there are butterflies. A crystal butterfly. Okay, so these are crystals. Interesting. Okay. And we've kind of scoped out all of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be doing any crazy stuff. <laughs> um... running around up here on the uh, the plateau up here okay so we made a full circle all right so there are crystals up on the very top of that middle so are these also crystals just these massive things just floating here in the middle are we gonna get answers to any of this or is this just going to be a mystery of the game because the crystals appear to not be affected by the light surrounding them they appear to glow all right uh, so I see an encampment down there I see some tents so we've got people to talk to. We've got stuff to look at. That's our bike down there. Um, so apparently we can't we can't interact with the crystals though. Like we can't take them or interesting, but we can climb them. Okay, so they are a solid element that we can. We can have some interaction with. Uh, let's see, looking off into the distance, you can see. Oof! You can see just how big the whale is. Look how high that is up in the air. That's wild. And that's okay. So that's the portion of the ship we found down there. All right, let's go ahead and where's the bike down there? We're going to jump. Okay, so, do we check out the town itself first, or do we check out, let's go, let's, let's kind of surround it like we do sometimes. 
we'll like go around. Whoa. <laughs> we'll go around the lower level and we'll work our way up because it looks kind of spiral. So we've got like a almost like a cave type area here. More of whatever that is. It looks like a a broken ship. Alright, there's an archway there. There's some crystals in it. Let's look over here really quick. Okay, there's another road sign out here. We're underneath these floating rocks. That seem to just... I don't get that. I don't know how that works. Um... So yeah, here are more presumably chunks of of ship. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing any no chum eggs around them, not around the vents. Um, whoa, hold on. Okay, there are crystals all over, all the way out there. I really do wish the bike had a hover in place and it would stop sliding <laughs> on its own. Like, it needs to right itself on whatever slant it might be on and just sit. <laughs> that would be helpful. Oh, no, this is interesting. Okay. There's a smaller inset down here. And we get the notification that we have officially arrived at Seven Sisters. So I'm going to guess the name Seven Sisters are for those floating spires. They refer to them as the sisters. That is just a wild guess. I don't even know if there's seven of them. I'm just pulling stuff out of a hat. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got a nice little ramp to get up here. That was convenient. if I intermingle with these glowing crystals. Nothing seems to happen to me. I can climb on them. I don't seem to be harmed or helped by them. It's really pretty, though. So cool. It's like fireflies. Oh, okay, what's up on top of there? Uh, is this our only way up there? No, but it is an easy access point. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. There are buckets. There is a winch. It looks like it's got a broken rope up at the top of it. Uh, let's see if anything's hiding up here on the roof. No. I was sure there was going to be like a chum egg up here. There's something hidden. Um, okay, so we got more crystals. What's going on inside here? Uh, 
Oh, it's a, uh, um... It's a, uh, um... Yeah, the mask caster. Do they have anything interesting in here? Something back there in the corner. What's going on back here in the corner? Oh, it's a bucket. Uh, put down. Yeah, they're just buckets. Okay. Okay, so the mask caster is kind of up here out of the way. Up on the shelf. We will hop on our bike and continue forward. Another crystal butterfly. All right, do they have a charging parking station for the bikes? There's our machinist. So we could work on our bike while we're here change up the colors and whatnot if we decided to. Yep, here's a parking station. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull in. It's charging. Not a hundred percent sure. Um, okay, so we can come up here and we can talk to uh, we can talk to this machinist because this is somebody new. Let's get a quick glance around. Everything looks pretty stand standard. Uh, outside of it being kind of inside this hill. Um. Is there anything up on the roof? Doesn't appear to be, but we can look later. The machinist is a slow mover, intentional in every action. As I approach, she crosses her arms and tilts her head back, looking me over, evaluating. I put a saunter in my walk that I might seem a little more casual than I feel. Her greeting is a silent tip of her chin. I give her a nod back. What's your name? She has a voice like gravel. I should redo that. What's your name? <laughs> I tell her my name and she extends a hand in greeting. Zara, what are you looking for? Um, do you know where I can find some glow worms? Ask for a machinist badge. Customized bike. Goodbye. Uh, let's start off with something we can meet in the middle on. Let's customize bike. Let's open her up. All right. So. Um, okay, so the beetle front, we're going to lose speed but gain handling. With the shade front, we gain speed, acceleration, and handling. The beetle wings, we lose speed and we gain handling. The shade, we only gain a little bit of speed, acceleration, and handling. With the booster, we lose speed, gain handling. Okay, so the only one that appears to give us better everything is the shade bike, and I don't think we should be riding around on that. So, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, let's uh, close screen, and let's talk to the machinist. Uh, customize bike.
There we go. Okay, that's right. We have to paint each one by... Um... I'm trying to remember which colors were... I'm trying to remember which colors were, um... My tribe's colors. Hold on. So we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten choices. Let's go back, close screen. Let's look at our inventory. Where is it? Uh, where are they? Oh, here it is, General. Press the wrong key. So, th one, two, three, four. But we only have seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm so confused. Okay, so the Ibixi red dye. If we select that, so one, two, so three up from like three off the last. I don't know what the other ones are, though. Dusty Monument, Ibexi. Okay, so back, back, talk to them, yes, yes, select that, yeah, it doesn't give the names for any of these, so I think this is the Ibexi color scheme, so select, Come down, select, select, down, select, select, close. Okay, now it should be the color of our tribe. So now when we talk to her, do you know where I can find some glowworms? I don't, I'm afraid. The innkeeper might know. I say goodbye. I ask her for a machinist badge. She chuckles deep in her chest. Someone tell you we were giving those away? If you want a badge, I need to know you're somebody who can earn a badge. Oh, I am. Not a problem. You've come to the right place. I am. I can feel the smirk. She isn't mocking, though. She's only entertained. Didn't even think twice. I like that. You ever been to the Crystal Plateau? Uh, no. I shake my head. She gives another chuckle. Well, I won't spoil the surprise. Take a ride out there and harvest me some lightning crystals. You get me three of them, you get a badge. And I get to finish the parts I'm working on. I nod and turn to go, but she clears her throat to stop me. <clears throat> before you go. You done this before? Uh, I've harvested other things, that's true. Why, what should I know? Um... I've harvested other things. I tell her I've harvested other things. She doesn't ask me what sort of things, so I needn't tell her it's only root vegetables, and I think that's best for everyone. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Before you try it yourself, speak to Toda. He's the leader of the Crystal Farmers, man of experience, and a friend. You'll find him at the base of the plateau, Southwest of here. Make for the lightning. You can't miss it. 
I thank her for the advice. Good luck. I think you might need it. I say goodbye to Zahara. Our Zahara. Quest started. Lightning in a bottle. Why? Why do they always have to make it difficult? Why can't they just give me nice things? Okay, uh, we need to find... Uh, we need to find the mail. The mail bot. The postal bot. Okay, what did she say? Southwest of here? That's southeast. Southwest is out there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to keep going around. Aha. Uh -huh. Grab another one of those. Can we? No, can't grab anything out of there. We're going to run around this little house, make sure there's nothing we can take. Can we go inside? Nope. Probably shouldn't climb on people's houses. That's rude. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. Is there a reason to get on top of the house? I don't see one. Okay, we've got another archway over our heads here. This way. Okay, so these crystals aren't even actually attached to anything. They're just hovering here. This is a very curious place. Okay, nothing out here. Just making sure we weren't missing anything. So here is the camp. It looks like we have our usual items. We have a tent for people to rest and recuperate. We have a fire going. There is the mail machine. Post box, logging in. Hello, Sable. Jotty. Hello, Sable. Do you recognize my voice? Jotty, the very sound of her reaches into my chest and curls warmly, cozily around my heart. I'm only kidding with you. One never forgets the voice that first assigned them chores, hmm? I hope you've been enjoying your gliding and seeing the world at your pace. I expect you've been good and well behaved on your travels. And I hope you've also tried being a little bad. <laughs> Not rude or unkind, but I hope you've bent a few rules and know the small joys of sneaky little secrets. Perhaps I have bent some rules once or twice, or possibly I just felt like I have, which I think is probably the best part of being a little bad anyway. I'll be brief, Sable, because even though my heart could pour itself out for hours, I don't want you standing out there too long. We've returned to the Ewer, all of us. Our period of grazing has ended, and we're back precisely where you left us, though I think a little calmer than we were in those last few days. There is absolutely no rush to return, and if you're having a wonderful time out there, I hope you keep it up. The gliding is yours to extend. But if and when you are ready, know that we are waiting for you, with arms that will welcome you, regardless of your decision. Now I should go. Hilal's giving us a little poetry reading. Bet you're sorry to miss that, hmm? See you at Gliding's End, at the Ewer. Take care. The recording ends, but I still whisper a goodbye to Jotty, as though she can hear me. It's difficult not to feel a pull to go to her and to them straight away. 
but I can tell even in her tone that there is no undue pressure or poorly hidden hope. When I'm ready to end my gliding, I'll go back to the Abexi. Okay, interesting. When I'm ready to end my gliding, I should return to the clan. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, we're still on this quest, though. Let's not lose uh, sight of what we're doing here. Let's just, uh, we're going to wander around the outside here real quick. Uh, it looks like we have another butterfly to capture. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. My bike's going to try to come up here. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's put our bike away. I don't like the fact that I can accidentally call my bike. And that it just starts doing whatever it can to get to me. Because sometimes I really don't want it to do that. It's just an accidental bump of the keys. Okay. Okay, bike is put away, and now do I have to go all the way back around, or can I climb? Let's hope I can climb. doing they're being very strange why won't it let me just climb up the wall there we go weird This is that bridge we saw earlier. Yep, we got some more butterflies. Oh, I saw a butterfly over here. Did? I see some butterflies out there as well. All right. Since we seem to be going around the outside edge here. No. See any more inside there. Is there a quick way back up? Yeah, I think that climb is a little too... a little too steep, so we'll go back around this way. So we checked these, we checked those up there, we checked the ones down below. Um, let's go around here. There doesn't appear to be any of the usual animals here, which is interesting. 
Um, let's check up here really quick. Okay, aha. I was wondering if there was going to be any of those here. Alright, we got our first egg of, of this uh, stream. I see a butterfly over here. Here we go. Okay. Nothing up there. Nothing there. there. There doesn't appear to be anything, but I'm betting that beetle that beetle husk is hollow, and I wonder if there's another uh, chum egg in there. Oh, it's not hollow. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be hollow and there was going to be one in there. Is there one on top? No, okay. That was worth a shot. Alright, let's uh, drop in on the fire, the fireside chat here. Courier Areni. A delivery out in Haoka, or Hakoa. Brilliant. This is the last time I agree to this. Fumes scratching at your eyes. The humidity is unbearable. All this while lugging a heavy bag across this terrain. Rohana's mask. I wish I had a hover bike. Uh... Can we sell them one of ours? Uh, it doesn't appear so. That's a shame, because we could sell them one of the. We could sell them the beetle bike. Okay, this person is untalkative. This person is untalkative. This person is untalkative. Um, we already walked around the whole outside of that. We did that. Okay, so now we can go inside the tent and talk to whoever's in here. Um, is there anything? I notice we haven't found any coins out here at all. Is interesting. Okay. Forest. Hard to miss the seven sisters floating around up there. Pretty incredible, huh? I've seen a climber or two attempt that climb. It rarely ends well. <laughs> That's... Uh, that's some foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. <laughs> By the way, you're probably not going to do very well if you try to climb those. Uh, okay. But let's not stand on their counter. This is Afi, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Have you got time to help me with something? Do you know where I can find some glowworms? Do you know where Lahore is? What do you need? Say goodbye. Uh, what do you need? The innkeeper seems almost giddy. I need you to gather some slicer beetle poo? <laughs> some, some what? You want me to gather poo? That sounds very smelly. I lean forward, assuming I've misheard. Slicer beetle poo, you know. Food goes in, 
poo comes out, I tell her I know what poo is. I'm trying to grow more flowers these days, and you know what they say, flower power beetle poo. Who, who says that? <laughs> Lots of people. The slicer beetles are fairly docile, but if you're going to get the poo out of them, you're going to need to give them a fright. Jumping on their back usually does the job, but it takes some doing to get them to stand still. I'm sure you'll figure it out. And don't worry, it's not cruel. I think briefly about what would call what I would call it if someone stood on my back and frightened me into defecation. Or, well, it doesn't hurt them. They're made of strong stuff. And they'll get over it. We've all been there, huh? Anyhow, I need three pellets of the stuff. There's a nest of them underneath Carob's Hold, southeast of here, so that's where you'll probably want to look. I tell her I'm on the case, and I say goodbye. Quest started, the long drop. Um, do you know where Lahore is? Lahore? I haven't seen her in ages. Like, actual years. I think at the time she was following the path of the archer. Anything else I can help you with? Okay, so Lahore hasn't been out here in eons, so we can scratch that off the list. So they must be at the other encampment. Do you know where I can find some glow worms? I don't, I'm afraid. The innkeeper might know. Wait, you're the innkeeper. D did I just read that wrong? They said the innkeeper might know, but they are the innkeeper. Okay, that's a glitch. Who am I supposed to ask if they don't know? Um, what? I'm I'm rather confused. Search quest updated. Searching for Lahore. You might want to. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to our quests. Okay, so. Ifa said that Lahore was searching for somewhere desolate. She suggested the Sodic Wastes. Afi said Lahore had been seeking to follow the path of the archer. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's scrap metal. Carob's hold. Lahore. Riding a wave. So, ask around at Seven Sisters Station to find out how to catch glowworms. Oh, it just says ask her. I would have swore it said ask the innkeeper. Lightning in a bottle. But the innkeeper told me to ask the innkeeper, which is very confusing. Okay, um, so we're going to close this. So who else is here that we haven't talked to?
We talked to them. We checked our mail. Ask the innkeeper. Is there somebody we didn't talk to? Like, maybe this person, maybe one of these now we can talk to them. No? No? The child? No. We already talked to them. <sighs> That's the mask. Um... guessing the reason that this is smoky is to obscure your view of which sister is passing by that you could jump onto and grab. But they seem to be in a stair-stepped order. So... The short one seems to be coming around. Oh, well, they go slow. Short one's passing now. Uh, pardon? fall that far down before it let me climb? Wow, that was cheating. That was so cheating. 
to make me fall almost all the way down so that I couldn't climb the rest of the way up. What a dirty trick, wow. Yeah, that was pretty rotten. I'm not sure why it did that. I wonder if I can climb up here. the short one right yeah. the short one's passing by right now or too late yeah it's too far away we have to wait for it to swing around yeah that's exactly why that smoke is there it's to obscure our view to be able to see what's coming a cheap trick. We jumped and flew over there and we touched it and should have been able to grab on but instead it slid us down like three-fourths of the way down the uh, three-fourths of the way down the, the spire so that we couldn't make it up. That was a pretty rotten trick. Short one is slowly but surely making its way back around. Range. 
Yeah. It. What's with knocking you down every time? Okay, so maybe that's an element of it that they intentionally do. And where'd the medium-sized one go? And that's it. So it appears to be sinking and rising. Yeah, it just made me fall all the way down. So I think the trick is you have to I think the trick is you have to get on the, uh, I think you have to get on the upslope part. Like you can't get on, you can't go but below that line. Um, it won't allow you to climb up the vertical, otherwise. That is the impression I'm getting. Okay, so that's the low one is coming back around. Is that it right there? Yep, that's the low one right there. Same thing, randomly making me slip for no reason. Okay, so do these get closer to one another? Because that one definitely, it definitely rises and falls. And it's also spinning. So we need to see where the low side is. The lowest point of the, yeah, see there it's starting to rise. And this looks like the high side of the of the the cropping part. Goes down, comes up. Okay, yeah, so I think, I think the face that's about to turn towards us is the lowest point. We 
need for it to start shifting down. That's the trick. Na 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 na. You do that. All right, we are on number two. Doesn't appear to be a way to get to number three. I'm guessing we have to go to this interim one that's... We do that. That little outcropping over there. Like get to that and then get up there. Because we're rising. Um, climbing on top of that, if this rotates, that could make it easier. But I don't think this rotates all the way around. Just in case it does and it sinks up, Yeah, the nearest high point. It's not that, it's this one over here. We appear to be swinging the right direction. The question is, is the one over there going to turn in time? turning away too fast. Where's the little outcrop? Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. It's starting to come. But we're sinking. Yeah, we're, we're like, we're further away now than we were before. don't know that we can make this. <gasps> okay. <laughs> can can we climb the rest of the way up this? If this is feasible or not. I don't know if we can make it up here. Come on. Yeah, I think it intentionally. Yeah. Oh. 
What was that? It wouldn't drop me straight down. It dropped me off. Y'all, that was some BS right there. I didn't fall straight down. I fell out. Yeah, that was some straight up malarkey. What was that all about? to this. We are not done with this by any stretch. <laughs> um, we may use to our advantage, we may get more eggs so that we get even more stamina uh, to make this easier. So we may hold off on this and do this later. Uh, for now, let's go down to the machinist shop below us here. Let's look at these quests that we've been given. Okay, we asked around a Kriya and we it still hasn't filled in all the way. View from the bridge. We got Elizabeth out there by us. Uh, the artifact. The queen. The gliding. Saren. I should speak to Toda. At the Crystal Plateau. Okay, show me this on the map. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, that's way down there. Okay. <laughs> Ask around at Seven Sisters Station to find out how to catch glowworms. So I'm guessing we have to do one of the other things at Seven Sisters before someone will tell us how to do that. Riding the wave, we can't do that yet. Searching for Lahore, we can't do that yet. The long drop. Okay, where is this? Okay, that's not as far away. That's not bad. So we're we're already on our bike, right? Let's uh, let's get down to where uh, we won't hurt ourselves. Because if we just launch off the side here, we're gonna crash into the ground. Okay, so from here, we need to get out here onto the plain where there's a fairly flat chunk of land. Okay, which way are we facing? We are facing due south. So let's go to the other side of the sign. Rotate. We are now looking, yes, we are looking due north. 
so directions will make sense. Okay, so north is the whale. We know that. We've already been there. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Game glitch. Looking through the ground. I was trying to look up. Seven sisters are right above me. Uh, north is the whale. We have been to the whale. Southeast is Carob's Hold. So this way is east. That is southeast. Okay, again, with the weird camera snapping. That direction. Uh, southwest is Shadow of Neve. So that direction on the other side, like around this thing. And southwest, the Crystal Plateau is down there as well. So, southeast is Carob's Hold. Um, let's jump out of there. Southeast is Carob's Hold. Uh, to, whoops, zoom out. To the northeast of us is the bridge. And I'm almost feeling like we hop over there and complete that quest before we take on any more. Because maybe she has some info for us or something. So let's, uh, oops, let's go back here. And now when we go here, Interesting, it's not showing us the bridge. Very interesting. Yeah, we selected the bridge. Yeah, we selected it. It's not showing up on the... It's not even giving us the icon. Okay, so... We know that it's out here. So we're just gonna head that direction. Get on the bike. And we are going to head... Let's double check our map. Yep. Heading to the northeast. We're gonna go find the bridge. directly in front of us. Right? Yeah, that appears to be what we're looking for. How do we get up there?
This is interesting. Look at a little canyon down there. Is there a way across? I don't see the... I don't see the bridge structure that we had seen earlier. That's the weird part of this. Where's the whale? Oh, we're not up to the whale yet. Maybe the... Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the building. Okay. It's like... I was like, I'm not seeing what we saw earlier. That's the bridge. With the giant statues on it. And there's a street sign down below us. That was loud. What in the world was that? Are we facing north? Nope. Now we're facing north. Balfron connection is directly north of us. Set to the southeast. The Eries. To the northwest is Acrea. Northwest is that way. Southeast, the opposite west is the Whale, which is over there. To the southeast is the Eries. Interesting. Uh, interesting that the sign doesn't even mention that we are standing directly next to the bridge. Like, doesn't even mention it. It's right there. <laughs> Strange. Uh, bike? Looking around. Interesting. Let's not... Let's not fall. I would like my bike to just sit up here. That'd be nice. Alright, I'm seeing a walkway down there. Or actually probably the portion of the bridge that fell. Um, okay, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the other side must have an access point, or birds circling up there. There, yeah, there must be an access point on the other side of this, because these don't look accessible. I believe this is the one that I kept trying to climb on and I kept falling off. So let's let's go around the other side. see a balloon. Uh, let's point our bike directly at it and search. 
Um, what is this? No, stop it. That's the beetle nest, so no, that's not what I'm looking at. That is definitely a balloon. So that is the cartographer for this area. So maybe we hit the bridge and then maybe we go do the cartographer really quick. If we have time. I don't know. Oh, plant. All right, let's skirt the edge of this so we don't fall down there. Because that seems like a long way down. Access point is over there. Um, and there is another street sign down there as well. Alright, so let's kind of scoot over this way. There is another portion of the bridge all the way over here. So part of the bridge went this way and a part of the bridge went the other way? Twisted? Stop turning the camera. There's statues up there of... Looks like knights fighting? find it interesting if there's a road sign down here. I believe that's north. Good grief, my directions are so bad in this game. That's north. North, Balfron connection, so the ship is directly in front of us. Northwest, that way, is Akria. Uh, the whale is... Sorry, northwest is Akria. The whale is over there. Um, okay, so... Again, road sign doesn't even mention this. Bit odd. Now, can we get our bike up this hill? I think if we do it at an angle, we should be able to do it. of the betrayed. Okay. 
don't see anybody out here. But I mean, it's a giant place. You could be anywhere, but... Let's, uh... Door here looks to be closed. Let's do a quick scan of this first area here. Nothing down here. The door, can we break the door? Can we open the door? Nope. Let's climb. Okay, nothing on this roof. Okay, I heard that. What was that? Uh, I see something up there. Something's glowing. I think it's another egg. Uh, let's look back here, make sure we're not missing anything. Nothing hidden. No. Right. Yep, there is one of our buddies. Hello, friend. Seventy six, getting closer. Um, okay. Um, there is a ledge up there to walk, but I want to see why there's a sneaky sneak path around the front. This. It's another way up. Interesting. Okay, so that was the same way. That was just <laughs> that was just a different way to get to the same place. All right. Um, let's look up here, real quick, just in case. Be thorough. Is there anything up on top of the sand dune? Let's see, it goes back this way a little ways. Let's look back here. Hello? I haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright, so there's a way up there. Just stand. Don't get too carried away. You you can't make it up there anyway. That's way too high. Uh, turn the camera. Okay. Just double checking what's out here. That does not seem to be a viable path, but we needed to check it out to make sure. Okay. Turn the camera. Getting goofy. Yep. Is there anything down on that ledge? No, it doesn't appear to be. There is a lower ledge down there. Is there anything on that? No, 
there doesn't appear to be. Unless it's tucked up against the building and we can't see it. Okay, so to get up here, there is a spiral staircase over there. Um, where was... Let's see, we're going to check this out, though. Make sure there isn't anything else up here we're missing. It's a fairly large plateau. Um, I saw that plant back in the corner. I thought maybe there was something else over there. Okay, now there's that weird little outcropping over there. I wonder what that's all about. Just a bit of the building jutting out. Maybe it's so you can climb up there, rest on that, and then climb the rest of the way up? I'm not sure. This side. There's another ledge up there. We should be able to see what's on top of it once we climb up. Um, let's look at where was the the entry point uh, this game has a very subtle marker I'm not sure how subtle it is but um, in places where you should probably go and follow um, they put ivy this little subtle sign that you're going the right way when you're climbing like here to climb up on the ledge we're currently on. Down there, there was another one. Now here, there's one. Alright. Let's check slanted roof here. Is there anything hiding back here? Doesn't appear to be. Check out the rest of the roof. Scatter the birds. Um, interesting. Another boarded up door. Um, okay, from here we'll look Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything on top of that tower. But wait, let's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Getting ahead of myself here. Okay, we looked over that way. From this vantage point. I don't see anything at the feet of that statue. However, if you, if you basically look at the waist of that statue, where there's a straight line across... If you look just to the right of it, I can see movement up there on the roof, like to the right of the waistline. I'm guessing that's another chum egg that we can go get. So we'll need to kind of just put that in the back of our brains to remember to go over there. Okay, so we'll get up on that ledge once we get around this. Anything on that ledge? No. We'll check that out once we come around full circle. Scatter the birds. Whoop, hello. A little more cash. This dome is really beat up. Look at that. Wow. There's something up on top of there? I don't think we can grab that, can we? No? Well, we might be able to do this. Whoop. Grab the... No, grab the pole. Grab... Oh, we can't grab the pole. Okay. So, getting up there would require jumping from somewhere else. Okay. No problem. Uh, let's see. We've got boarded up doors. Piles of sand. 
Uh, we can go up there on the roof here in a bit. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything on that ledge over there we saw. Oh, we got animal bones. Wow. A whole full-on courtyard up here. This is really pretty. Okay, nothing in the pottery here. I wonder what's. I wonder if we're going to get a, an explanation for all the crates. Why there's crates everywhere, and some of them are like strapped down. Okay, nothing hiding back there. Nothing on top of it. Zigzags through these poles. Somebody has left. Interesting. That's like a hookah and a setup and plates and whatnot. Oh, we've got another chest. Nothing else back there in the corner. Okay, an animal died in the water here. Doesn't appear to be anything back there. get up on I think that's a way to get up on the roof line okay so let's check this level really quick first Okay, no way to get up there there's a climb to get over there okay is there anything on this roof no but it's easy access to get around here Is there anything on this? Yes, hello. Okay, and now we can look back. There doesn't appear to be something on top of that gold dome. Um, again, you can see the ivy kind of the path up. Okay, we can't get around those wooden, like, those, those parts that stick out, we can't get around those, so that's going to be a non-starter. Um... So there's no internal way to get up. All the doors are boarded. So we will have to uh, double check our surroundings here really quick. Okay. We'll look down at the roof that we didn't jump on. Okay, everything looks good there. Uh, we're going to check the lower level of the bridge here real quick. Doors are all closed. seeing anything hidden out here. Alright, and then this just broke at this point. Oh, hello. Aha! <laughs> Sneaky. 
This is why you always look. Alright, so the lower level of the bridge collapsed over to the next section. The upper section obviously has collapsed as well. Uh, we can look up at the bridge above us. But this is pretty much a dead end here. We can't go any further, so... We can climb up these, but the overhang juts out so far. There's nowhere to go from there. So we will follow the lead of the game. Oh, wait. Let's look up on that ledge really quick there. Make sure there's nothing hiding up there. Uh, I don't think there is, but it's at a weird angle. I might not be able to see the whole thing. Let's check really quick. Okay, nope, nothing up there. Okay. And so we will follow the guidance of the vines. Is there anything up here? No. Continue on. All right, we got another spiral staircase. Uh, let's look around really quick. Anything hiding over here? Doesn't appear to be. Birds are really pretty. <laughs> yeah, that building over there I said that we couldn't get up because of the, the part that juts out. There is a, a chum egg over there. So to get there, we will have to climb all the way to the top of this, jump, and use our glider powers to get over to that, get it, and then we'll have to drop down and climb our way all the way back up to get back over here. Um, Alright, we're going to go around. Let's check our surroundings really quick. Okay, everything seems status quo. Try to rotate the camera a little better. Okay, another gold dome, severely damaged. That is a long way away, but we should Heavy on the should, we should be able to make that jump. Um, I believe we can... I think we can climb these poles, can't we? These are different than the ones downstairs. Aha. Uh -huh. We can use this as the jump off point. That makes much more sense. Okay. So, ready to go for a glide? We're going to jump <laughs> and glide across the sky over to that other, uh, that other wall over there. And then we'll come back and... Uh... Oh. Look who it is. It is our connection. Um... I'm really curious how we get to the other side. There has to be a way to get to the other side. So should we talk to her? Let's let's do these one step at a time. Let's get our egg, and then we'll go talk to her. Ready? Move the camera around a little bit. Precarious. And go. Two more and we get more stamina. Okay, so we're going to try to run and jump and see if we can make it across there. 
Um, just to, like go right back where we were. Let's see it. Oh, I see another one down there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Would never have seen that if we didn't go get the one that we just got. I am so glad that we saw that. Alright, double checking to make sure. Alright, so now jump up. Jump up, climb up. Alright, and jump up, climb up. Anything hidden over here? This game seems to be getting really into hiding things. Anything hiding over here on the outside edge? No, we were already over there. Okay. What you doing? I'm up the wall. Goofy? <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's go up and talk to our friend we haven't seen since, uh, oh, I'm going to say episode three <laughs> of this playthrough. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, what's her name? Elizabeth. Yeah, we haven't talked to her since the very first time we visited um, Burnt Oak Station. So this is kind of cool. Elizabeth greets me. Guard Elizabeth. Ah, you decided to join me. I wanted to see you. I wanted to see the view. I forgot you'd be here. Um, did we want to see her? Or do we want to see the view? We wanted to see her. We did. I, I think that's a that's an honest answer. I tell Elizabeth that I wanted to see her again, and so here I am for our second hello. She seems to like that and gives me a little pat on the arm. I wanted to see you too. Didn't have any trouble with the climb, did you? I tell her no, and ask how she managed. Been keeping pretty spry all these years, not to mention the views all the motivation an old ladybird like me needs. Thank you, though, little glider. You're a good one. I'd like to give you this with my gratitude. Given our present location, it does seem a little on the nose, perhaps, but... With a quick nod to the great statues looming behind her, Elizabeth hands me a guard's badge. I flip it over in my hand, rubbing my thumb across its face, and I thank her for it. Oh, it's just a little token, but suppose it's also something to think about on your gliding, eh? The guard's life treated me well enough, and if you ever fancy giving it a go, that badge gets you one step closer. I picture myself in a guard's mask. It is odd, but not absurd. Would I be any good? Take care now, friend. Perhaps I'll see you along my next travels. Thinking about a visit to the wash, you know. So if you have ever happen to glide on by, I cheerfully promise her that I will keep an eye out. Oh, one more thing. If you do go the guard route, I perk up. She turns and gestures to the statues again. Aim to be the one with the high ground. Way he's angled, and the fellow coming up from the bottom doesn't stand a chance. We share a warm goodbye, and I go on my way. Quest completed. A view from the bridge. Oh, 
the birds are circling over there. Very interesting. Why? Okay, so here's what I figure. We'll never make this jump. Even gliding, we're not going to make it over there. However, gliding over there, we can definitely land on that second ledge and figure out how to get up to the top again. So, I think... Oh, look at the whale from here. Holy cow. You can actually see that kind of shape of it, the contorted shape where it swoops up. That's wild. All right. There appears to be something up on top of there. Almost like a chimney or something. Interesting. Missing anything? Okay, we've got the staircase up, so let's look back here really quick. Because there are some boxes and crates. Haha! <laughs> That's why you always look. A cache of 100 cuts. Made from metal, harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. One hundred cuts. Uh, uh, if you're unfamiliar, cuts are the monetary system they have here. So... Alright, that was uh, well worth the, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds it took to go look back there. Always check. Always check the little nooks and crannies. Developers love hiding stuff back there. <laughs> um, speaking from experience as a developer. Um, Alright, so... From this window, yeah, that definitely doesn't look like, um, that doesn't look like a plant up there. It's too smooth. Yeah, I think, I think there's something over there. I don't know if it's of any importance at all, but there's definitely seems to be something over there. All right, we are... Right next to these giant statues. Wow. That's impressive. Oh, all of these. Do you notice that? If you look off in the distance there, the other ones seem to have the... Like one of those spires up there as well, or whatever that... A chimney or whatever that is up there. Right, we may have to... Uh, we may have to look into that more. Okay, so there's a roof way down there. So maybe when we leave, we'll go down the facade of this. And then we'll just run over and grab our bike from across the way. Because I'm thinking there may be stuff down there, but we can't get to it. And then get back up. That's not going to work. We have to go up from here. Um, okay. There's a mask in here. Wow. 
which means there's going to be a puzzle inside here. Okay, how do we get up? Um, that's got a lip on it. That doesn't, but it has a foot on it. Um, there are no vines over here showing us the way. So, let's, let's do this. Is there a gap there? No. So we're going to jump there. I'm going to jump there. That's what I was curious about. Okay. Oh, hey, Dutch. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the, the sub. Oh, oh. There we go. It is good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Dutch is a fellow streamer. Um, we'll just uh, take a break here for a second. We'll give him a shout out. Um, <laughs> my fingers, my fingers are cramped from holding the controller for like three hours straight. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm like, I'm having a hard time typing because my fingers don't want to unbend. There we go. Um, that is uh, Dutch's uh, username and whatnot here. You can click the link and you can go over and give him a follow. Show him some love. Um, they were last playing Escape from Tarkov. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, I have to click back in the screen. to. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so let's... Uh, we will make our way over here, because now we know there is, uh, back there in the corner, there is another chum egg. So, aha, sneaky sneaky, there is a door to get in over here. Nice. Alright, let's head up to the roof. <laughs> All right, another egg. Uh, let's see, we will spin around, zoom, see what we can see. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get up on this roof. Oh, we have, there we go. Um... Okay, we've got a spire on this one as well. Uh, let's see what's back here. Jump. Okay, nothing on that side. It's wild to be this close to those statues. They're so big. Uh, let's see. Climb over the arm and the foot here. Oh boy, that's a long way up. Okay. Um, let's jump over here. And there was something out here on the very edge. Oh, was that a tent? That was. Somebody's tent was here. Wow. There we go. Sunset dye. A dye bottle for sunset colors. That can be used on our bike. Alright. Um, Alright, so let's flip around. And let's see. 
what else is going on up here? We have a dome that we can climb on top of. Um, I don't know how we can... This is going to be interesting, yeah. This is a, a little bit puzzle-worthy here. Aha, there are steps going down. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, we've got a roof here. We have a whole conglomeration of stuff going on back there. Um, just so we don't have to come back out here, let's go ahead and see what's on the roof up here. If anything. Okay, nothing up here. Alright, hold on. I need to move my character all the way over. There we go. For those of you who have uh, vertigo, I'm sorry. Um, but this is the easiest way to scope out what's below us and not have to climb around down there. Okay, so there are no hidden artifacts down there. Okay. That is what we're... That just saved us some time, so we don't have to Climb around and jump down there. Oh. Well, that's our own shadow. <laughs> I was like, something's moving down there. Oh, boy. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's see, where does this get us in relation to... Yeah, I don't know how... I we're, I think we're going to have to climb this mountain behind there and then jump over to get on the roof of that tower. Um, so let's do this. We'll see where this... We'll see where this staircase takes us. Since there's nothing up here... Oh, I just figured this went inside the temple. Oh, it goes down, 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 down. Stops there. Is that a crack? Oh, no, that's just the edge of the spiral. Okay. Alright, so let's go in here. Uh, bouldering trousers. Hey, we already had the bouldering shirt. Now we have the bouldering trousers. We have an entire bouldering ensemble. Oh, we are back in the mask. Okay, I, for some reason it felt like we climbed down a lot farther than where that mask would have led us. Left us off at. That's interesting. Okay. Um, so to open the mask, we have to interact with that. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to check out the rest of the room really quick. Make sure there's no hidden goodies. Nothing back there behind the crates. Um, really, nothing back here. Boy, they sure made it look like there was going to be something back here, didn't they? <laughs> um, okay, interesting, interesting. Alright, um... Step on the big red button. I'm sure no harm can come from that. I feel a suggestion enter my mind. When the swords cross, 
stand face to face. When the swords cross, Okay, they're ha uh, when their shadows. Uh, where would their shadows appear? Oh, there's swords crossed up there. So what we'll need to do is we'll just need to pay attention to when the lights in here turn green. Or they... Oh, wait. Are we already at sunrise again? No, sunset. Okay, the swords definitely can't cross here. Unless the it's the sun bouncing off of it and it and it like shows up here. When the swords cross. Interesting. Okay, so in the interim, because, um, I mean, it could literally take, like, 30 minutes of just sitting here waiting. Um, Oof, that camera spin. Goodness. Look up here really quick. Sun is setting over there. Is that noise again? When the swords... I would assume it's their shadow somewhere. It's either the shadow of the two statues, or it's when the sun rises in the morning and comes over the edge of the building and touches that symbol. Uh, those look like stairs up there. I'm thinking there's something up there. And so I want to get up there. Catch our breath. Come on. Come on. Just grab the edge. Nice. Okay, so...
pillars. Okay, so there are pillars up on top of that one as well. Oh, we can see the whale from here. Why pillars? Why are there pillars on top of these? Something here ages and ages ago. Okay, there is another egg on top of the tower over there. Um, so we will go do that. But there doesn't seem to be. I, yeah, I don't know why those are up here. All right, let's make a run for it. One more egg. One step closer to more stamina. Okay, so the sun up here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But now that I have. Um, sorry, yeah, I'm just, I'm a little scattered, I'm all over the place. Um, you can see the sunlight coming down, so the sun is headed this direction. Okay, the sun should hit that symbol pretty soon, if that's what was supposed to happen. It's inching closer and closer to touching it.
Wait, why is it not? <laughs> that was it? That's all the closer the sun gets? I think the statue is blocking. I, I think part of the statue is blocking the sun hitting it. So it may be that the sun has to hit a precise. Yeah, like this. You can see. So yeah, it may be just a very specific time of day the sun hits and completely illuminates that sign. And when it does, the door opens. As long as someone is standing here on the mark. Sesame. It's still not all the way uncovered. No, 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 no. How does it get uncovered all the way? <laughs> oh, okay, it does look like it's moving back away from it a little bit. I don't understand. Why isn't it working? Do I need to use this thing down here? Why isn't it? Ah, why isn't it working? <laughs> me confused. Um, we just stood here through an entire sun cycle. I don't know. I, I don't know.
Well, the light from the gate is our last hope. Maybe that'll be enough to make it trigger. I don't know. I, I don't... I'm not sure what it's looking for. Because we're standing here. We're eye to eye with it. Um, but it's not turning on. wasn't the answer. Okay. When the swords cross... Stand face to face. Does it mean literally like... I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this just like this, so in case it happens, <laughs> it happens, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to double check while we're waiting and I'm going to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, so we are... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare anybody. If I did, I apologize. Uh, we are actually doing this correctly. We are exactly where we need to be. Um, and I was originally correct. It's when the swords of the statues cross, not when the swords of that symbol cross. The symbol is just to remind us that the swords need to cross. But there is a very specific time of day when the swords do cross. So, we will stand here and uh, take in the, the rather stunning view here. Um, and we will wait for the, we will wait for the swords to actually cross.
<laughs> shadows, shadows are moving very quickly. It's really pretty. Uh, because I've been standing here long enough, I'm hoping that uh, this may actually be the the screen cap for the VOD. That would be awesome, because this is beautiful. Sunset, or as the moon sets and as the sun starts to rise in the east if the game is going to have an explanation for the uh, for like all the for why things are the way they are here um, or if we're just supposed to accept the world as it is because yeah, there's a lot of backstory that I'm very curious about um, and I don't want to spoil it for myself. I, I want to find out. I want the game to unfold as the game is supposed to unfold. But I am super curious. All right. As the shadows of the moon creep higher, that means that the sky will continue to lighten as the sun starts to rise. fading the sky is getting lighter
So I assume that it wouldn't do anything if we were standing here, but we're standing in the wrong position. And the sky continues to get lighter as the sun rises. I think the moon has completely set, so it is a matter of time before the sun rises. This reminds me of the movie, um, the Brendan Fraser movie, um, where he, uh, and Elizabeth uh, Hurley is in it. Um, Elizabeth Hurley plays the devil. Um, and he, he gets all these wishes. Um, it's just, there's a scene in it when... He's watching the sunset, and every time he looks at the sunset, it makes him cry because it's so pretty. And eventually he starts getting mad, and he yells, when is it gonna set? <laughs> it's really... It was, it was one of those movies that at the time when it came out, the critics were like, meh, and they didn't like it. But after watching it later, it just... It, um, it kind of attained a following to it. Because it was... Uh, it was it was quite funny. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, having a heck of a time remembering the name of it though. Um, but yeah, she she uh, Elizabeth Hurley played the devil. She drove a Lamborghini. Uh, of course, it was a Lamborghini Diablo. And there we are. Inside the temple. Monumental Stone Bottoms. Alright, so we got the Monumental Clothes. Is there anything else in here we can snag while we're here? Nothing else in here? Okay. And that's it. Alright, so we did that. Uh, we went all the way to the top. We looked down and we found the... Um, we found the one... Uh, we found the extra chum egg, which was awesome. Uh, now, I believe our best bet is to... Uh, go back from whence we came and go get our bike, which is way over there. Um, yeah, we. I said we were going to go down the front of this building to make sure there wasn't anything extra over there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's look down. I 
because I wasn't sure if there was something down by his feet. There doesn't appear to be, but... So, yeah, no explanation for why those uh, birds are circling up there. There wasn't anything up there for them to be circling about. Uh, I'm going to double check on top of that other foot. See if there's anything on this. Nothing on the foot. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Alright. Let's continue looking down here. Okay, so this was the last level. Okay. Um, we should be able to float over and snag our bike, and we will be on our way, because I believe we have captured, uh, everything here. Great location, very pretty. Uh, it was a, a cool place. Okay, so, um, so I think what we're going to do, uh, real quick here, we're going to now that we search that location, whoops. Um, and now that we now that we search that location, we can easily quick travel back to it. Um, so I'm trying to remember where we saw the cartographer from here. Um, I believe it was kind of here ish. Um, so what we should probably do is get back to where we were when we saw it. So let's get down to the riverbed here, carefully, without breaking our bike. There we go. Oh, that's one steep incline. And we'll rotate and we'll come back to the other side of the building because I think it was easier to see from the other side. E. Oh, that, was, that was a rough ride. Um, I was just looking to see if there is anything like hidden around the edges of the the walkway they this game has been notorious doing that there's that sound again giant thump okay we were in this riverbed when we when we saw it right or were we further away maybe we were up higher Hold on.
Okay, there's the other road sign. So we were at that road sign when I saw it, I believe. Let's head back down to it. Because I was like, oh, that's really cool. So, let's see. Is it being hidden by that giant thing? I did come forward this way when I realized that we needed to go around the building to find the entrance. Aha. I was pretty close where I pinged that. Wait, 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 wait. Lost sight of it. Hold on. Okay. I want to get the bike turned exactly towards it. There we go. Alright, now fall. Get a run and start at this hill. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, dried up seabeds. are some gigantic uh, skeletons. Jinkies. Uh, yeah, those are, uh, those are rather large. Let's look at this logistically. Nope, we're gonna hop down off the bike for a second. Okay, so. Weird shape. Cartographer is up there. We've got a bone bridge that goes across to there. We got a bone bridge basically that comes down to here. So let's flip the bike around. Yeah. Alright. So, that is how we get up there. Now 
to get over to that, we need to be high enough that when we fly over there, we land on the... on the mountainside. So... Yep, come on. All right. Come over this way. What's our height level? Oh yeah, plenty high enough. So, same thing. Wait, what are these? Are th dragons? I mean, good grief. Look at the size of those. The rib cage alone. Um also interesting, there's a fire on top of one over there. So yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on here. So let's uh let's get over to the next bridge. quite the hike. ascended rather quickly. Let's uh, take a pause and look around here. Um, okay, it doesn't look like there was anything sneaky up on top of that one. Um, yeah, I think so far so good. Let's, uh, let's continue on. I think our best bet here is to grab onto that. Yep, and up. Right. Now the final leg over to the cartographer. So let's look at this thing's face. Horns? Tusks? That looks like horns and tusks to me. Something with horns and tusks. Okay, let's, uh... Keep an eye on the sturdiness of this bridge because there are definitely gaps. All right, so up. Okay, nothing on this level. I'm scanning the far hills to see if there's any. Let's get a little more stable on here. There we go. Uh, there is a giant building over there on top of that one. There's like a whole complex of buildings up here. Um, interesting. Okay. OK, 
Okay, but not seeing any um, any eggs. So so far so good. Stay towards the middle. Should be okay. Cartographer is up there. Okay, I assume we need to get... onto that. Let's, let's get down here, all the way. Okay, so... I see more bones over there. This isn't a feasible way up. So maybe we have to go around back. Like that way. Because going this way... Oh, well, no, there's... There's bones over there as well. Okay, this may be an either or. Um, that's not too far. How's this one look? That one actually appears to be closer. between the bones there. Okay, where does that go? That just goes from that lower level to here. I think going the other way would have been easier. That's funny. All right, we got there. Again, because we're so much higher now, take a quick pause. Kind of scan the environment. Look for any, uh, yeah, that's a really cool building up there. And it's got that bridge to get across between the two locations. And if you look directly above the character's head, above Sable's head, there are two what appear to be like towers there uh, that look surprisingly like Daleks, <laughs> which I thought was kind of cool. Um, okay, so I believe if we climb up this, uh, we should get up to the cartographer station. And we need to remember to give ourselves breaks, otherwise we'll run out of gas and we'll fall. Yep. And we have reached the cartographer's balloon. We don't want to scare him. So let's uh, kind of just wander around the outside here. You can see the statues from here. <laughs> we were just all the way over there. That's kind of cool.
The cartographer responds to my greeting with a grunt, and I assume some practiced eye rolling. Cartographer Arzu. Came all the way up here just to bother me, hmm? Did you even think there may be a reason that I'm up here with all these bones? I tell him I hope that he's a... I tell him I hope it's that he's a cartographer? He snorts, but waves me on. Um, any other local points of interest? He seems eager to be rid of me. Depends on what you find interesting. A couple of fools have started putting in time at the old settlement up on Eries. You'll have to climb, but seems you don't have much trouble with that, whether invited or not. Oh, this is as brutal. There's also a wrecked ship hanging off a cliff face there if you're brave or stupid enough to try to scavenge it. Aha. Another ship for us to work with. Oh, and the Bridge of the Betrayed is around here too. It's quite safe in spite of its name. Um, okay, so we did local points of interest. What other regions are we near? You probably came from the north, yes? Head back that way for Sand Sea and Red Sea. To the east, the Wash and the Petrified Forest. To the west is Hakoa, but you'll be doing some cliff hopping. He gives me a once-over, as if to evaluate my cliff hopping potential. You'll probably be fine. Can I buy a map? Fine. <laughs> He's so rude. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna buy a badge from him. And now we'll buy his map. Ooh, that's pricey. Hundred. Goodness. Yeah, he, he could absolutely care less about us. All right, let's uh, wander away from him so he can be at peace with his uh, his snarkiness. Um, okay, so if that is the sunrise to the east, that has to be north. And now our map is filled in. More. Not completely, but it's filled in more. Um, directly below us right here, uh, we can see the balloon for the cartographer station. Um, there are interesting black dots. Uh, behind us? What are those four black dots? Hold on. Turn exactly backwards. Okay, so it's those buildings. Let's zoom in. There's our bike. There's us. There's all the bones. Oh okay, yeah, so it's, they're just blobs. They're grayed out. But those are the all the buildings. And that gray mass right there is the ship. Now it's interesting that it puts the cartographer's balloon there, but it puts us all the way over here. I wonder why it's doing that. Because the cartographer's balloon is literally right here. Like, I can... Here. I am, I am literally on the cartographer's balloon. And it's showing me that far away from it.
Mm, okay. <laughs> that's that's a bad yeah. That's that's not that's not correct. Um <clears throat> So yeah, so let's see. I'm looking at the map here. Um So I think what we're going to do Um oh, interesting. Oh, look at all the these gray items here, like that giant thing that looks like a ginormous beetle. And that, which looks like a ginormous something. Uh, anything else down here? No, that's the edge of the world down there. So this whole thing is just riddled with these, uh, these like valleys and rivers and stuff. Um... That is the beetle. Yeah, Hercules beetle. Um, and so there's appears to be something there. There. Four things there. Okay. Um, I think... Um, I guess we could go back down to our bike. We could jump back down. Um, because we we don't we don't need to be up here harassing the cartographer anymore. You who apparently uh, would rather do anything than to talk to us. Um, let's see, which way was our bike? Uh, by the bones. Where are the bones? Show me the bones. Oh, this way. There it is. There's our bike. Alright. Uh, and we don't see any... There don't appear to be any stray, uh... Whatchamacallit, chum eggs. So let's go ahead and, uh... Actually, let's look at our list really quick here. Oh, we have more than 20. We could go cash those in, and it would give us our, um, it would give us our, our next level of, um, stamina. So maybe we should do that really quick. Let's go grab our bike. our bike and since we know the way between point A and point B and we've traveled through it what we will do is we will um, yeah we can just come back to the cartographer's balloon so we're gonna zoom out we're gonna come up here where is it yeah it's just right there um, and we are going to fast travel Just save a little bit of time. Because we, we know everything between point A and point B, so it's... It's not going to be anything new to any of anyone watching. Or myself. So we are here at the Queen's Lair.
Hi, Queen. Look at all of them. Being so happy. I greet the queen. The queen asks me if I have the eggs for her. My, my, egg bringer. My children, they dance with excitement at the treasures you bring. More friends to dance and play. I have to admit, collecting chums has been a more satisfying task than I initially thought. I hand over the batch of eggs with excitement. Now I think to myself, I'll be having one of those precious tears, please. Now, now, child, a little patience. Stamina increased. The warmth of the chum's tear pulses inside my chest and spreads through my limbs. Another 20, please. I promise that's the last batch. I don't think it is the last batch. Because you got, uh, some there, some there, some there, some there. I don't think it's the last best. did that and now uh, we are going to go to our map keep zooming we are going to fast travel to burnt oak station oh I didn't get on my bike did I please tell me my bike came with me oh good because <laughs> we don't actually need to be here uh, we need to be down at the metal shop. We have a lot of metal for him. Alton barely looks up at me. Uh, you better have something for me, Glider. Sell scrap metal. I fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. Hmm. Alton sniffs through his mask and somehow sounds impressed. Nice haul, Sable. Not bad. He digs around in his pocket and hands over two badges, and quite clean this time. That's what you came for, then? I tell him I came to give him scrap, but that this is a rather nice little bonus. Like the attitude. Scrap's the real work, badges are... What's the word? Nice to have. Trifles are good. Nice to have. Useless, on their own at least. But just like scrap, you can melt them down into something decent. Mask. You'd make a pretty good scrapper's apprentice, you know. If you can find someone willing to take you on... He laughs. 
I'm kidding. You're good. I'd be happy to have you on my team someday. I take the final badge from Alton and thank him very earnestly, which I think he really hates. Well, don't get all weepy about it. It's not some big moment. And I'll still be here if you got scrap to sell. See you around, Sable. I say goodbye to Alton. Quest completed. Treasure scrap. I wasn't expecting that to be the end of the quest. That kind of surprised me. Okay. Yeah, that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, sir? Ma'am? in that thing. Alright, we are going to run over to the mask shop really quick. The atmosphere in the tent is intense. Uncomfortable. Claim the scrapper's mask. I show my scrapper's badges to the mask caster. Scrapper mask unlocked. All right. Uh, just out of curiosity. Uh, what's it look like? Uh, let's see. That is the, uh, the atomic... Whoops. That's the whale ship mask. There's a cartographer mask. The child's mask. Bexy, Scrapper, oh, Scrapper. Oh, so it, it, interesting. It's just got like three holes. A Scrapper's life is filled with danger and solitude. The mask leaves me with a cold, lonely feeling. Scrapper's life is often spent on old ships, alone in your thoughts. mask back on um let's see so we've got the whale ship top beetle biker ibexi bouldering a crane machinist a crane glider monumental stone shade sand surfer priesthood sh whale wait atomic priesthood we don't have the atomic priesthood um, shirt. Because they stay in order, I believe. Like beetle, beetle, biker, biker. Yeah, so we're missing the atomic priesthood shirt. 
don't know when we'll get that or if. All right, so. Riding the wave, searching for a lore, the long drop. Now that we have the map, it should show up. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the map. Ah. Okay, so that's where that one is. Um, what we are going to do, however, is we are going to fast travel back to where we were before we cashed in things. Let's fast travel back. Now, does it drop us at the bottom or the top? It dropped us at the top. Where's our bike? Wait, where's our bike? It says our bike is directly below us. It's definitely not up here. It can't be. Um, so let's go ahead and float down to the where we were before. There's no way it's up there. There it is. Okay, it was over there. Wait, can it get to me? It's trying to. It's over there. All right. Hey, bike. All right. We... Let's hop on. Where's the cartographer? Up there. So we are going to position ourselves. Ginger, gingerly, gingerly, wah! We are going to position ourselves at the next step. Hold on, that's a new looking plant. That could mean there's some new stuff around here to find. Weird looking uh, stone structures here. Okay, so there goes to there. Trying to see which one is the starter. Because we got a bridge there. Bridge there. Let's look at our map really quick. Right, whoop, 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 whoop. 
I'll zoom in. Okay, so bridge between two of them. The question is, how does one get up there? Okay, there appears to be a bone bridge here as well. So maybe boom, boom, up, up, up to the ship. Let's, let's, uh, let's investigate that. So wait, from where we are, turn slightly, wait. Let's turn slightly to the right. Is it this one the ship's on? Like there? Are we pointing at it? Yes, we're pointing at it. It's on the other side of this. That's the ship. Okay. And so to get to that... I don't think that's the ship, is it? I mean, it's ship-shaped. Oh, ship-shaped. That's funny. Um... So it looks like there's a bridge over to this. crazy that the camera keeps swinging around. It keeps trying to realign itself and it won't just stay where I put it. Um, okay, so the, the, the basic question is what is the what is the starting point? Where do we get on the ride? <laughs> Basically. Uh, let's see. So it would seem, I'm facing this way, slightly that direction. Okay, bike. So somewhere over here. Oh boy. That's the cartographer's... Sh 
Do I need to start at the cartographer and jump from there? And like skip across? Okay, I'm up on the edge of that thing. So it's saying that right next to me here, this. There's a... It's showing a bridge between this to the next one. I'm starting to think that I need to... All right, here, let's... We're fast traveling back to where we originally started when we got back over here. Okay. From the cartographer station. We can see... We can see the city up there. Which doesn't seem to match this map. Like it feels off. So if we look over here, that looks like stair steps to get up to the top of that. So if we face that, that may be what happens. We have to go from here where we are to get to where we need to be. Okay, so let's at least give this a try. looks like it's lower than the one we're on. So jump. There we go. Alright. Wait to catch our breath. Jump. even higher than the cartographer station. We are almost even with one, two, three, four. Let's look at our map. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we are closest to that. in distance. However, if we try to float over there, we're not going to make it. Um, what it looks like we need to do it looks like we need to 
fly this direction. Make our way over to that bridge and then bridge and then up. I feel like we should take off from up here, though. see over there the pillars, the broken pillars again. So... necessarily need to take the bridge. <laughs> that was that was really close. Uh that could have been disastrous. Um Okay, that way. here. Mm, I think back over towards the edge here. Yeah, like here. We have uh, we have arrived. That is what we had to do. We had to leave the cartographer's station, which is where my bike actually is and not where that marker is, to get ourselves around to where we needed to be. Okay. So 
what we are going to do at this point, um, uh, because this is, you know, starting a whole nother thing. Pardon? Did you hear that? Oh, that doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> the ship's making some si Okay, the ship's making some serious creaky noises. Um Let's let's it's a small ship. Let's check it out really quick and then we need to stop. Um, okay. Look up, everything looks okay. Check out the internals real quick. Get some cash. Oh, Erie's trousers. Interesting. Was not anticipating that. Figured that'd be money. seeing what I expected. Um, this is just like the pilot's capsule. Where's the, uh... Looking for the sneaky way to get into the rest of the ship. Is there a crawl space? Is there a hatch? Like back here in the corner? No, I don't see a crawl space. How do we get into the rest of the ship? Okay, there's no way up on the ceiling. Right, let's go around. Gonna have to walk around the ship itself here. Um, these parts are gray. Can we get on top of the ship? stuck under the lip. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. So let's go around the outside edge here. Access anything from that side? I don't think there's enough space to walk around that way. So how do we get into the rest of the ship?
Although this isn't telling me that it's a ship. Like the other ones did. The other ones told me like, um, they're like, you know, hey, you've reached ship XYZ. And this one's giving no sign of being one of those ships. Can we climb the outside? No, as usual. Doesn't appear to be anything over there. I'm afraid if we go around the front of the ship, we're going to fall because there doesn't look to be enough room. Is there anything in here that looks like a port? A way to climb through. I don't see anything that looks like a way in. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not one of the named ships. I was really hoping that was going to be another, another chance for us to advance the AI thing. Okay, so... That is how we can get back. There appears to be some kind of a ship or something hovering outside of that building. Because that's easy enough to get to. We can float to that. Then you've got this, this, the, the bridge across, and then a bridge across to that one. But to get to that one... That's interesting. I don't think any amount of jumping is going to get you over there. Okay, that was loud. What's with the kadunk noise? Did a, uh, did a door open? No. no. No secret panel, no nothing. Okay, so... Distance-wise...
the way I'm facing is closer in distance than that is, even though that looks closer. That first step's a long one. <laughs> That's a long way down. Um, okay. Okay, the towers are both. Inaccessible. Is there anything in the box? No. Let's run around the back. And then we'll run around this one. Make sure there's no hidden goodies. No. Are these climbable? Interesting. So we've got birds' nests, but nothing in them. Uh, we appear to have what looks like it may have been a radio tower at some point, but there's like, there's like literally like nothing here. Um, I almost feel like I. These, oh, are these just massive birdhouses? Is that what all the black dots are all the way around? Now I feel, well, now I feel compelled to have to do the other one. Okay, nothing up here either. Alright, so we looked at the ship, we came over here, we looked at this, there doesn't appear to be anything up here, which is odd. Is there anything like hidden around the lip of this? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, maybe this is going to go a lot faster than I thought it was. Alright, well, there doesn't seem to be anything here, so... I don't see anything hiding around the perimeter. So, let's move the camera like this so we can... See, uh, if you have vertigo or are afraid of heights, you might not want to watch this part. Um, I will, I will let you know when I get to the other side, because I do need to look down because sometimes there are gaps in here. And if you're not paying attention, you can go for a 
a long, a long glide. <laughs> that, that is a disturbing distance down. Nice and easy. Let's take it nice and easy. Almost there. Okay. And we're across. Okay, ship, building one. Uh, how do we... Oh, the camera's being really jittery. Okay, we go around this way. All right. Come on, come on. Okay, we took that. Oh, yeah, we have to go this way, not that way. That far of a fall. Good grief. Yeah, we have to go this way to get over to the second building. And there is. There's some kind of floating device over there to get us to the third building. Fourth? Third. Third. The first wasn't a building, it was a spaceship. Okay. Again, if you have a fear of heights, you probably don't want to watch this part. Um, because I do have to look down. Make sure that I stay on the middle part and there aren't any breaks. Cross. Um, where are the steps? This way. Okay. So actually, um, can I get back on this? And then move this. Step one. Is there a lower point? Okay, I think the lower point is over here. It's around the edge, but I'm not going to chance it. That's fine. That's two. That's three. Let's take a quick look around the outside just in case they've snuck in any little... <laughs> no, there's a... There's a balcony off the back of this thing. It just, it's, it just overhangs. And basically every muscle from my like neck down is tensed up. Okay, there's the floaty raft thing. That's not gonna give me heebie jeebies at all. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. All right, inside the building, let's do a quick assessment here. There should be some hidden goodies. Oh, that was wild. He jumped right over that. 
Uh, no hidden goodies. Okay, let's look in here. Oh, nothing hidden in there. Is there anything hidden on top of it? It doesn't appear to be, but we'll double check. Uh, nothing up there. Okay, the doors are boarded up. There's another flyer over here. There's another tower here. I don't see anything on top of the tower. Um, let's check the top of this building. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I, I went right inside that, whatever that is. Another egg. Thank you very much. That is a ship. Which ship is that? Because that's a blinking ship, which means that has an AI in it. Uh, where am I? I am there and I'm facing... That way. Okay. I am there. And I'm facing to the southeast. Uh, interesting. Okay. Anything up here? No goodies, no money, no nothing. Okay. Always worth a look. Alright. This railing has a small split in it. I'm assuming it's there for a reason. Okay, outside of the building. There's an awning here, so there's something... Yeah, there's something underneath that awning. Um, the boat is over there, so we should be able to see it when we go downstairs to the boat. Um, okay. Let's uh, stand up on here. And we can't swing wide enough to see over there. So, let's hop down. Man, all that effort, and there is nothing on that. <laughs> there's, there's nothing on that balcony. Uh, that makes me mad. Not mad, just aggravated. Um, let's go ahead and walk our way around on the outside. Just. Make sure there's nothing hidden out here. Um, okay, that we'll look at once we get back inside. And we'll go ahead and climb to the top of this tower, even though we probably don't need to, because it appears like the only thing that's up there is birds. We're probably annoyed that I keep chasing them off. Here we can look down. There is a small fire. Um, yeah, nothing's over there. Wait, there's two balconies over there. And there's two balconies over there. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> you know, I gotta check it. Come on. 
Ah, don't get all squirrely. <laughs> of course there's nothing on that balcony. But if I didn't check, there would have been like a bajillion dollars or something up there. Alright, alright, so we did all that, we did all that. Oh! Hello, c character, that I didn't know was standing there. A poor person is probably standing like, oh, will you just get over here? <laughs> I've been standing up here for like 12 months and no one's come by, and when you finally get here, you're like running around, you keep looking at everything but where we, where we want you to go. Alright. Uh, anything in here? No. Warm ourselves by the fire. Boatmaker Jake. Hey there, how can I help you today? As if it's completely normal for someone to just stop by at the top of a mountain. Uh, I would like to trade with you. What is this place? I don't need anything. What is this place? It's an ancient Hikaric ruin. Oh. Ikaric. Really? It's an ancient Hikaric ruin. We found it a few years ago. They've been trying to get it back to life since. Cool, right? After we got the bird towers up and running, I spent a long time figuring out how to farm and engineer those big bones you see across the chails. It's how we navigate the rocks, ferry ourselves around. If you have a bike, I've got some interesting parts to sell. If you see Umi around, say hello. It's nice to see someone else up here. Um, yeah, we will take you up on the trade. I would like to trade with you. Brilliant. Have a look at my wares. Jake has a bike that is in the shape of a boat. Redwood from the uplands of the Badlands combined with bones from the chails make this a great, if rustic, material to ride with. Uh, so that's 153, 450. Yeah, why not? Thanks for stopping by. No, thank you, Jake. That camera? Okay. Sorry about that, Jake. My camera freaked out. Uh, do you have anything back here I can... I don't want the bucket. I don't know why he keeps telling me about the buckets. If there's some kind of quest in here, it's like... Oh, gather five billion buckets. I will be super upset. Okay, can I navigate this boat out here? It doesn't appear so. It's not giving me any sign that I can touch that boat. So... What about the boat on the other side of the wall over here? What about this boat? That apparently goes over to... Yeah, what about that boat? hovering out there. If I miss, if I jump and I miss, um, 
I assume that is the only way to get over to the last building. Which is, yeah, that one. Right? Because that one has a boat on the back of it as well. It shows me facing the opposite direction. Oh, there he goes. Okay, it snapped. Um, let's look at this logically. Is there a way to get over there without taking the boats? It, mm, I mean, technically, I could take the bridge back across and jump from that higher part over. But these boats have me super intrigued. Let's go with the safer of the boats. Let's, let's go back over here. Because... Because if I... Oh, because, because if I miss... Oh, goodness. Um, okay, there doesn't appear to be anything else on the dock. If I get in the boat and I can't and it doesn't work, how do I get back out? Can I run and jump to get out? <sighs> All right, y'all, fingers crossed. I either don't have the skill to make this boat go, or it is not a device that I can use. Okay. Um, and I don't feel it's necessary to try the other one to, f to find out. Um, that makes me sad. I was kind of hoping that we could take the boat. Um, that looked kind of cool. So, to get over there, it appears that the way to do that... I don't, so, let's get close to this boat and see if we see any kind of sign. Like an arrow or a... Yeah, there's nothing about that boat that tells me that that is a safe prospect. Um... Okay, so, to get back there, I'm going to stay above the bones, but I'm just going to run and jump. Wait, I'm higher here than I am there. Why don't I just run and jump from here? I should be able to hit that. Okay. Uh, Y'all, if anybody is scared of heights, um, 
this may be a good time to look away. Uh, I'm going to float through the air and go over to that other uh, that other piece of land over there. Uh, but there is a whole lot of dead airspace below me. So if you're afraid of heights, uh, just hold on for a bit. I will tell you when we land. Should be, we should be okay getting up there. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Alright. We have made it to the final building up here. Uh, once again, we are going to quickly scan the outside. Look around, make sure there's no eggs out here. Uh, anything of value that we might need. Not seeing any eggs. No hidden... Um, okay, that stops there, so we have to go back. Uh, camera? That was not cool. The camera swung around farther than it normally does. It started making me run the wrong direction. That was really uncool. Alright, and there is the other boat. Um... We will go inside, we'll check. Uh, we've got the bird towers here. Um, let's, aha, there is a clay jar here. And that is the Eerie's top. So now we have the Eerie's outfit, the ensemble. Thing up here? Come on. Well, I didn't want you to. There we go. That's what I want you to do. Okay, again, uh, for your heights, you might want to look away. I'm going to walk to the edge here. That appears to be solid. Okay. Swing around, swing around. See if something's in there. What if I do that? Can't see if something's back in there or not. Um, <laughs> uh, I know they do this on purpose, I swear. Oh, 
there's nothing in here. All that effort. Okay, from up here, aha, that's what I was looking for. The middle tower has a chum egg on the top of it. Is there... Is there somebody standing down there now? They weren't... They weren't standing there before. Were they? Maybe they weren't, I just didn't notice them. Uh, let's get the egg first. Do, 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 scooby do, 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 climbing up the mountain. Sorry, birds. I promise I'll get out of your hair in a bit. I just have a friend I have to talk to up here. Harvester Umi, you've traveled a long way. Not often we get travelers. Uh, why are you out here? Do you live up here, see around? Uh, do you live up here? Uh, only for parts of the year. The wind gets rough and it becomes hard to stay. Better to get on the sands and sell up what we can in the hard months. I do love it up here when the winds are steady. Nothing quite like riding a boat through the towers of rock. The bird, <laughs> the bird crap is the only downside. <laughs> A profitable one, at least. You've traveled a long way. Not often we get travelers. Why are you out here? I'm just harvesting some of the bird excrement we get from these towers. Oh, that's what they... Oh, we didn't get to tell Yumi his friend said hi. Oh, uh, that wasn't an option. So they harvest bird poo. Okay, I'm not sure why I didn't get that up until this point. Alright, um... Okay, we, uh, we looked at all the buildings on top of the... Yeah, we, uh... We looked at all of them. Uh, ancient build, gliding, historical lightning, now nah, uh, ride the wave. Let's go here. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we, uh, yeah, we, we looked at all the buildings in this middle section here. So, I think what we're going to do, because I accidentally got sucked back into the game and realized now I've been playing for five hours, um, I was supposed to stop two hours ago, um, yeah, we're, we're not going to have enough time to do anything else, so we've already been to the beetle nest, cartographer balloon. So what I could do, instead of climbing all the way around and back down and whatnot, um, I could just fast travel, but to where? Where is the best place to start the next game? Uh, long drop. I should head to camp. Wait, would this count as the fall? 
because we are so high up right now. Um, Carob's Hold is next. Um, I would have to go to Marrowbone Station to find uh, Lahore. Um, Riding the Wave, nope. Nazis, we can't do that yet. Lightning in a Bottle, can't do it yet. Saren's Terminal, no. Lighting. Ancient. Okay, so, um... Our last thing that we're going to do here, um, again, if you are a person who is uh, afraid of heights or whatever, you absolutely will not want to watch me do this. Uh, there is a quest, apparently, to uh, jump from a high place. Uh, because your character cannot be harmed in this game, because we have supernatural powers, uh, we do not get hurt, we land. Uh, however, the character makes noises as if they are scared while they're falling. And so if that will bother you, you, you might want to hold off until I say it's okay to watch again. Um, because we are falling from probably the highest point we've, we've ever been on. So let me look really quick. Okay, we're here. We need to be on the far side of the building. Uh, what, there? Yes. Whoops. Okay, can we? Can we just calm down? There you go. There you go. Get up there. Come on, little dude. Do that. Oh, come on. Yep. Need you to stand on the ledge. There you go. Okay. Okay, you definitely want to look away now. Okay, it's done. That was it. Okay, we got the <laughs> we got the achievement. <laughs> That's how you do it. Okay. Um that was okay, that was worth it then. Uh cuz we got the achievement. Um So, we are here. Um Let's go Let's look at no. That's interesting. Th this information is interesting. Uh, no. No. Yes. Okay, we still have to do that whole quest. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to uh, the map. We're going to move the marker over to the last s station we were at, and we're going to fast travel to it. Um, because that was the last place we stopped to rest, and we got a bunch of quests and whatnot. This seems like a logical place for us to pause until the next round. Yep, yeah, we will uh we will hang out here by the fire with the other folks. Yep, yeah, this seems like a great this seems like a great a great spot to pause. Alright, let's uh 
Let's see here. We are going to do that. That. And... that is going to uh do it for this stream it was another long one <laughs> we played for over five hours um but yeah it was wonderful we got a ton done we got to see a lot of new cool stuff got to try some new stuff um so yeah it was a lot of fun uh i want to send a big shout out to all the folks who uh swung by to all my lurkers uh, I want to say thanks to Dutch who stopped by and uh, and resubscribed. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you are an awesome human being, and I appreciate you. Um, to all my lurkers, thank you. I appreciate you as well. Um, to the folks who watch this later on the VOD or who watch it uh, over on YouTube once the videos are posted, thank you so much. Uh, please don't forget to either follow or like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, that way I know that you you like what I do and you like watching the games that I play. And, um, you know, we can interact. We can uh, do some, you know, can try some different content. We can do whatever. Um, I mainly play sandbox games, world building games, uh, games that are heavily story driven, like this game. Um, so, yeah, uh, I really enjoy these kinds of games. But I also do... <laughs> Uh, randomly play like Fortnite and stuff like that or Rocket League um, so there are uh, opportunities to do that and to play games with the community um, uh, was it a week or two ago we played words on stream uh, we had quite a few people come in and play uh, we uh, it's it's kind of like playing wordle with a bunch of people all at once um, and you don't even have to have the game it's completely free you just you just sit there and type and guess words um, so that was a lot of fun, but we did that as well. But, um, but yeah, uh, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here. So uh, until next time, please remember to be well, take care of yourself, take care of one another. Uh, look out for the people around you and look after yourself. And please remember to treat yourself as good as you would treat a best friend because you deserve nothing less. So until next time, I am T-Maz. This is the Construction Zone. And I will see you next time. Until then, take care. <laughs>